It's going to be the time to enter, be entertained by the bridal party. It's going to be a fun one. So get your cameras ready and keep them out because the bride and the groom are going to immediately follow their entrance with their first dance. Right, we're gonna open it up with the parents of the groom, Louis and Nadine O'Reek. I guess Louie's uh, passing out drinks. Make sure you tip him before he gets to his table. All right. One of the funnest couples I know. Here comes the parents of the bride, Joe and Anna Ferreira. Our first couples, Joseph Ferreira and Courtney Stewart.
Our next couple, Jesse Qualley and Alexis Avila. Introducing Robert Rodriguez and Alexandria Cordenese. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, wavy when I turn it on. All from my city, all from my home. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital. Mr. Paul Garza and Miss Cheyenne Ferreira. Bottoms up. We got to excuse Paul. He was a lineman in high school. Can't touch this. Now I don't think you guys were even born when this song came out. Can't touch this. But introducing Anthony Santos and Can't Brianne Kuali. Can't touch this. My, 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 Can't my this. music hits me so hard. Makes me say, oh my Lord, thank you for blessing me. What am I to run and keep like this good? Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Bring em out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Come on. Best man, out, Brian Ferreira. Maid of Honor, Aubrey Lyons. A big round of applause, everyone. VIP, coming live from the VIP. Heard the nightlife, lost life. What I mean, most of the feds in the state want to see by me. The whole city got pissed, heard he got three. That other rapper got a hit, but shout it, he not me. Who set the city on fire as soon as he got free? The king back now. Rawls don't even know how to act now. Hit the club, take it for a sat down. You may need a stand to get a good view. It is my pleasure to introduce to everyone, Mr. and Mrs. Brandon and Kayla O'Ree. This is a remarkable So So Death <laughs> remix. J.E. Y'all, run DMC to the beach, y'all. Uh. Ah-ha, ah-ha, and me, y'all know my name. Come on. All right, we're going to keep our cameras on because we're going to go right into our first dance. I just swear that I'll always be there. I'd give anything and everything. Weakness and strength, happiness and sorrow, for better, for worse, I will love you with every beat of my heart. Because 
everybody. A big round of applause for the bride and the groom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to take all the attention and head it over to where the wedding party is sitting. We're going to start with the bride, bridesmaids, the maid of honor, Miss Aubrey Lyons. So, Aubrey, we are ready when you are. Hello. Can everyone hear me? Okay, everyone. So, I just want to start by everybody giving one more round of applause for this beautiful couple. You guys are amazing. So you guys may or may not know, but Kayla and I have been friends for 14, I'm going to cry already, 14 years now, um, and we couldn't be more opposite, oh, you can't hear me? Oh, okay, <laughs> here we go. Um, we couldn't have been more opposite, but more perfect friends. Um, she was the tiny little spitfire cheerleader who would always run her mouth, and I'd always tell her, like, okay, watch who you're saying this to, because I'm the one fighting, not you. Um, <laughs> And I was the athletic one who made her try out for paddle tennis with me. And don't listen to Joe because we were awesome. So what he says doesn't matter. Um, and then we finally got to high school and she met this guy with a big white truck and she swore he was a stalker and that she would never like him and would never date him. And, yeah, really, I think we were the stalker ones for her, but um, Brandon couldn't have been more perfect for her, and I think everyone except for her. Um, and so, finally, when we got to college age and we come home from the fair, we, um, I convinced her to invite him with us to the monster trucks. And it took all the convincing in the world for Brandon not to screw it up because he was planning on kissing her on the first night that he, we invited him, and that was a big no-no. So thankfully, Brandon, you did not kiss her that night, but um, you have the rest of your life for that. Uh, so don't worry. Um, so I just, I'm going to keep this short, um, but as we continue to celebrate this amazing couple, I just want to say, Kayla, you have been the best friend. Sister, um, you're an amazing nurse, and you're going to be a more amazing wife, and Brandon, you couldn't have picked a luckier girl, and <laughs> Brandon, thank you so much for taking care of her. She deserves the world, and that's exactly what you're going to give her. <laughs> thank you for being her other half and for giving her everything that she deserves and more. So to the bride and groom. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Everybody's about to chill out for this because I didn't write shit down. There ain't no kids here. I'm going off the dome. So if I say something funny, laugh, and that's it, all right? My turn. <clears throat> all right. So if you guys don't know me, I'm Brian Ferrer. I'm the Brian bro brother. And the I'm the best man to my brother-in-law. He's been my brother for a long time, but it's official now, so let me talk. All right? So listen, I'm going to explain how this shit started out, okay? <laughs> Kayla had a big crush on Brandon, but she never told nobody, right? So apparently Brandon is the desperate one. Listen. Brandon, hey, listen. Hold on, hold on. Every sign. Brandon's a stalker, okay? Brandon had a big thing for Kayla. Nobody ever knew Kayla had something for whatever. It's over. Okay. Brandon used to show up in front of our house. We didn't, hey, hold on, we didn't know nothing about Brandon, but we knew his truck, okay? If any of you guys know the old truck, it was there, swear to God. She used to say, hey, this guy's here, and we're like, God damn. Okay, he was there. He used to show up, came a couple more, you started being there. We, I walked in my house once, and he was there. I was like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm not supposed to cuss. He was there, so we were thrown off. Eventually, he kept showing up. Me and my dad, where's my dad at? He's right there. We started getting used to it. Eventually, he came and Kayla told us, hey, we're dating. We're like, what the hell's going on? You know what I mean? Like, this guy's a weirdo. Anyways, <laughs> he showed up. I shit you not, he brought a, this, this, what was it? A box, a box of candies was the size of my mattress. I shit you not, this, this box of candies was the size of my table. He had, a lot of t he had a lot of candies. So he showed up, he had a bunch of candies, and we were like, all of a sudden, me and my dad, we had candies. 
So we were like, hey, this guy's not that bad. He's bringing a bunch of candies. So all of a sudden, I started eating candies. My dad started eating candies. Kayla didn't get shit. But we just started all eating candies. All of a sudden, we were like, hey, he's not that bad. Next time he brought Starbucks, he was part of the family. Okay? So we all started eating candy. We all started drinking Starbucks, and he kept showing up. But you know what? As far as we're concerned, he's part of the family. All right? All right, there goes the jokes. Moving on. Hey, as long as I could be concerned, I'm a younger brother, but I feel like I'm an older brother. This guy my sister like gold, and I can't ask for any more. He's treated her like the best thing ever. He's already a brother to me, but as far as today's concerned, officially, he is my brother, so welcome to the family. We love you, bro. You're already a part of the family, but officially, it's here. So cheers to the bride and groom, all right? Well, I guess now it's my turn. <laughs> okay, first I want to thank everybody for uh, taking some time for their, from their busy schedule to be here. And we really appreciate it. This is a special day for all of us. And uh, Brandon, Kayla, we finally got you out of the house. <laughs> well... All I can say is uh, Brandon is going to be almost 28, so his daddy got married at 28. You're almost there. Don't worry. <laughs> so, so uh, to all to uh, both of you, we love you. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Have a good time. Next. Wow. Sweet, right? Hey, Joe, you know you got to follow. You got to follow. Hey. Looking out here, hey, that candy was good. I'm not going to lie, that candy was good. Brandon, keep sending that candy to 2111 Atlantic. Thank you guys for showing up. It's a, it's, it's a speechless. Thank you. Everybody out here, I can see faces I know. I appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you very much. Brandon and Kayla, love you. I'm not shy. It's me. I was not shy. Thank you guys so very much. You guys all have a place in our heart, and I am truly appreciative that you took your time and you came out today to celebrate with us. For that, I thank you. Brandon. I remember the speech that your dad gave at your sister's wedding. He said something along the lines of, Jesse, if you ever do anything to my daughter. So it was along those lines. Brandon. I vouch for that. I thank you, and I know you will take care of my daughter. But at any time she has any kind of not happy look on her face, 2111 is not the place you need to come to. Hey, that goes both ways. There you go. There you go. She didn't say it, I said it. But I thank you and I congratulate you both. You guys are going to be amazing. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. And I love you both. Thank you very much. Brian, that was a kick ass speech. That was a kick ass speech. He got it from his mama. Thank you, everybody. Okay, I guess I'm going up first. Um, I wanted to thank everybody for coming out here today. Um, I can't really pull a speech the, as great as his. There's, eh, Aubrey's was okay, whatever. Um, but I really wanted to thank everybody for coming. This was a group effort. It was a lot of work between setting up the house, doing the wedding stuff. It was, pff, it was a lot of work. But we all managed to make it work. We did it as a family. We did it together. Um, we came up here as two different families, but now we're all one. So I really appreciate it. I love everything that, uh, the way everything went on today. It turned out real perfect. And all I could say is, damn. Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> so um, I just want to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. We really appreciate it. And everybody, enjoy the night. Enjoy the food. Drink, dance, have fun. We're all family now. And I love Brian. Thanks, Brandon. I appreciate that. Kayla, you're up. Say something. Just something. Say something. Hi, guys. I don't like public speaking. I just wanted to thank everybody for coming today. Um, everybody here has a special place in our hearts. Um, this has been a long time coming. We've been planning this for quite a while. Um, I wanted to thank our parents especially for helping us throw this. Um, all of our family, my godparents, um, my aunt, my uncle, um, Brandon's family, everybody, our groomsmen, our bridesmaids, everybody that's here, we love you guys. Um, and let's just have fun tonight.
We need all the single fellas to make their way underneath here because we're going to be tossing that garden here in just a little bit. So we need to get everybody, we need to give Brandon some encouragement. All the single, all the single fellas, all the single young men, and some of the men that want to get away from their current situation. We can do it again. I'll give you my phone number to book me later. All right, so do we have everybody that we need, Brandon? One, two, and three. Congratulations, young man. We're going to do this real soon. Thank you. 